Hello, this is Nathan Webb, and today I'm going to show you a simple camera shake tutorial. Camera shake is useful for making objects look heavy. For example, I have a box here, and the box is going to fall and hit the ground. Now, it doesn't look that heavy, but with the addition of a camera shake, we can make it look heavy. Now, you might want to keep in mind that camera shake can be overused, it can look kind of cheesy, so use with caution or use sparingly, but I think it can help an animation along. For example, if you have a heavy robot or a mech walking by the camera when the foot hits the ground, the cameraman camera would shake a little bit. So I already have a camera set up, I called it render cam, I just duplicated the perspective one, and I'm going to put a key on the camera. I'm going to wait until the box hits the ground, it hits the ground at frame 10 here, and I'm going to hit S to set a key on the camera and then I'm gonna move over two frames and I'm gonna hold Alt in the middle mouse button and just move the camera up and down a little bit and then I'll move forward about three frames and move it in the other direction and then I'll move forward about five frames and bring it back to normal so if you take a look at this and give it a play you can see that the camera shakes a little bit when the box hits the ground. To make that better, let's take a look at the render camera and go to Window, Animation Editor's Graph Editor and we'll take a look at our motion. It looks like I translated it a little bit in X. I don't want to do that. I don't want to move it side by side so I'm going to delete it. Just up and down translation uh, will work and I'm going to look at my curves here. I'll select this key hit the W button and then hold shift and move my use my middle mouse button to move it down so I want to move it down a little bit I kinda of want a nice kinda of Richter scale looking line here and if you don't see your curve uh, very well go ahead and hit the F button to frame it and I'll take a look at my Z translation I don't want to translate it back and forth much um, I don't want to rotate it at all either I could rotate it a little bit um, in the up and down rotation but this translation should work okay. Translate Y is my translation. And I'll add one other key just to put it at the end here to kind of stabilize it. Maybe I can add another one here. Just it looks like the cameraman regains his balance. And these keys are linear, so to smooth them out, I'm going to select them and hit the spline button. And I'm going to plateau the one at the end. So let's take a look. So that definitely looks heavy, and maybe it doesn't look as heavy as would like, or maybe the camera shakes too much. So we'll take a look at the graph editor, and we can make the keys. I'm holding shift, and I'm going to move the keys to the left and make the shake a little faster. That'll work. You can adjust it as you want and that'll help you give objects uh, a heavier look to them. Thanks for watching. This was Nathan Webb and this was a simple tutorial on how to do camera shake in Maya. Thank you for watching.